was also afraid that since we were not able to see face to face, it would be more difficult to reach out to people. But it turns out that ONB uses Google Workspace so efficiently that everyone's really just a chat away and everyone's ready to respond, help each other out. Working with my mentor and my teammates is not hard. If one is really having a hard time dealing with an issue, our mentor can arrange a quick meeting for better guidance. I had a lot of questions during the internship and they were more than happy to answer them. They also promote a good work and life balance, so even in the circumstances, I look forward to the tasks that they have been given. I tried to work independently and avoid asking questions, but being in an environment that has a very hospitable culture, I was able to warm up with them. You can always um, just message someone or call them whenever you have something that needs to be answered or you want to learn something. Um, it also helps that we have like our daily stand-ups, so we get to interact with each other and with the team. The most challenging part of the internship program is to apply the things that we learn through the training at the actual project. Siguro yung time na nagkamali ako sa isasko during the training, it made me realize to read the specs better, be careful, analyze our problems better, and also double check ko kung tama ba yung naintindihan ko. The learning curve was very steep. It was like this crash course learning Java, JSP, Spring, Hibernate, SQL, and all of these tools I've never heard of before. All of them, however, turned out to be very helpful and streamlined the entire process of developing software. When my fellow software engineer interns and I did a whole project together back when we were still training for the Java practices, I get to collaborate with a team. This uh, experience made the most impact on me. It just changed the way how I saw my role at ONB, which would have to be when we were on a video call with Sir Callen, who's the president of ONB. One of his uh, children started running in the background and making noise, and Sir Callen had to excuse himself to talk to his child. And when that happened, it really humanized Sir Callen, and it made me realize that even though he holds such a high position, he is really just human like every one of us. We're here to learn from each other, and everyone's approachable and, you know, just here to help you out. To be trained by the company's own CEO, Sir Callen, and VP of Consulting Services, Sir Enzo. That training is not just two or three days only. It actually took us a total of three weeks. I recently only learned more about string boot automation and Java practices. So learning these things made it much easier for me when coding for Java. I also really like the way they test their code one thing at a time and I notice something I'll be using for when I finally work for the industry. That work becomes less like work when you're enjoying what you do. To be mindful of how I code, I follow the proper practices and where then na dapat. My code is readable and understandable by other developers. The agile practices that ONB follows, it sort of makes you realize how important communication is when working with your teammates and also your mentors. It makes you sort of more adaptable. Everyone knows what's happening. Um, everyone can help each other out and you can always find a way to improve your process and make the product better. The best thing I've learned is the Java coding practices. I also realized that even after school, we are still not fully equipped and we still need further trainings to get ourselves ready for the industry. It's very different from what we're taught in school. And through the demos and the projects that we were able to work on, I got to take a peek behind the scenes and to see that firsthand that all these code and these databases take a whole team to maintain and it taught me the value of working in a team and working collaboratively.